chapter 120 of Chainsaw Man. Man, was this such a good chapter. So, yeah, we start off where we last left off. You know, uh, Nayuta put a chain through uh, Asa's head, and, you know, we none of us were sure exactly, like, what was going to happen. So, apparently, she, like, changed her into a dog. And... <laughs> And so I'm like, okay, that's pretty interesting. Um, I don't remember uh, Makima being able to do that, so I wonder if that's a, a power that only Nayuta can do, or is it just something that Makima didn't use? However, there is a power in here that I really want to talk about, a different power that Nayuta uses. But, continue on with the, the chapter, it's hilarious to like get to know like Nayuta's personality because like none of us know anything about Nayuta like the only thing we got was at the ending of part one which was like nothing right and so you could definitely tell like she's kind of like a like a spoiled brat but like kind of acts like dingy as well um so it, that's hilarious um you know and she says that she'll uh you know, Denji's like, oh, turn her back, and she's like, no, I'm hungry instead, and he's like, okay, well, let me make you food, and then turn her back, and she's like, okay, but only under two rules, uh, one, you get, you let me eat ice cream every single day, and then, I love this panel, because it shows, uh, two panels of Denji, not just one, which is very important, because, um, I like how that, it, it shows how Denji paused, so she was like, let me eat ice cream every single day. And he was like, only if I get some too. Which is hilarious because he's the adult in the situation. So he can have ice cream whenever he wants. Like, that's not, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like, oh, she gets ice cream and then I get some. It's like, no, you're the one who gets the ice cream. So you can choose whether or not who gets what. So I, I just thought that was hilarious. Um, and then she says that... Uh, the second one is that you can no longer hang out with Nayuta, or uh, Nayuta says you can no longer hang out with Asa because uh, I don't like her scent. And then Denji's like, does she smell like a wet dog? <laughs> Which is hilarious because that's what he was thinking, um, you know, prior to that. Um, but then Nayuta says, no, I'm going to alter her memories to make it seem like you guys didn't go on a second date, like you stood her up so she won't like you, and then that's to separate you two. Here's the thing. Two things, actually. One, she's another Makima. She is controlling Denji's life. Think about that. He's the adult in this situation, but she's the one who's giving the house rules, right, when they first showed up to his house, he, he's the one who, yeah, Denji said that there are rules that you have to follow, and it all revolved around, Ma, uh, not Makima, uh, Nayuta, and then, and then now, again, she's, like, controlling Denji's life, and here's the big thing, she can alter, alter your memories to think of something else, I made a video a while back saying that Makima lied, like, I don't believe that Denji killed his own dad, I don't think so, because, like, first of all, how does Makima know that? And I think a lot, a lot of that was just manipulating Denji. I don't think that Denji killed his own dad. I think that Makima altered his memories. And I talked about that in a video, like, a year ago. And then here we are. Nayuta can alter your memories. We have not seen Makima do that other than the time that she talked about Denji's memories what was behind the door so am i on to something or what but yeah it was it was pretty funny um i love how we get like a, a peace sign from nayuta which is what dingy does all the time um but yeah that's what happens is asa's memories are altered and i really like this because there are um there are some panels you know going down and each one is zooming in to Asa and you can tell that the speech bubbles are getting larger and larger and she's like basically rambling on and what this tells me is that she's in denial 
um i think she really did like dingy um she's sitting here saying that she didn't and that she has more important matters to attend to but i think that she's just using that in it as an excuse to just accept what happens but i think she actually did care about dingy um and then that is when uh yoshida walks up and he's like want to spend some time together so i'm wondering so the uh chapter is called triangle so i wonder if this is going to be like a love triangle thing like dingy's gonna go hang out with uh yoshida and see that he's hanging out with asa and he's like bro like that's <laughs> that's hilarious another thing that i want to mention is that nayuta says to dingy um it's not like you can die or something yeah she uh on page four she says it's not like you die and so i'm wondering is that because he's a devil because we've seen dingy in part one get like shot in the head but then you know he drinks some blood he's fine is that what she uh nayuta is referring to or can dingy like actually not die because we still don't know how asa could not turn him into a bone sword think about that because they did care for each other in fact you don't have to really care for somebody very much like look at asa in the school president or the teacher or whatever it's like didn't she turn the teacher into a uh, spine sword in the first chapter or whatever like she has no emotional attachment to the teacher or anything she had she had way more connection to dingy so it should have worked right so why didn't it and now we get this panel where naita says um it's not like you can die what does she mean by that 